Hi guys, today I have a Arteza haul for you. I haven't done one of these in a little while, but as you guys know, I am an affiliate with Arteza and they got in touch again to ask if I wanted to review some more art products. And I said, of course, because I love their brand. Their art supplies are probably one of the ones that I use the most. Of course, that means that this video is an ad. I haven't been paid to make the video. I've just been sent stuff for free. One of the art supplies that I've been super curious about trying more of is markers. In this video, it's gonna be kind of a haul slash review slash just talking about markers basically. I feel like they have become a lot more popular recently. I've seen acrylic markers and people using them all over the place and I've only ever used a couple of acrylic and chalk markers before. I've never had this many to try out and play around with so they sent me a mixed media paper pad which you'll see has been not the best for markers. I think the paper has a bit too many like fibers in it or something. I'll explain that a little bit later, but they sent me one of their mixed media pads, which the pages are perforated so you can rip them out, which is handy. So this is the biggest set that they sent me. Um, this is a pack of 42 chalk markers. When I got them, they weren't all organized like this. I've been through these and color swatched them and organized them into a nice rainbow. When they arrived, they were all jumbled up. So this pack came with the 42 pens. It came with a pack of chalk labels, which I'm pretty sure are stickers. And they also come with replacement nibs as well and a pair of tweezers to replace the nibs. So at the moment, all of these pens have, um, the rounded nib. But if I want to, I can change them for these ones, which are the chisel tip nibs. So those are the chalk markers. They also sent me the acrylic markers in the pack of 20. I am gonna go through the differences between chalk markers, acrylic markers, and oil markers, which is the other set they sent me. This set, they also sent the set of 20. This pack's a bit jumbled because it ended up breaking on me. This was after I had swatched them and everything. I had them like stacked up and this pack just slipped off the top off of my desk and onto the floor and the pack broke. <laughs> I think that's probably the only negative of these is the packaging is a bit a bit rubbish to keep them in. They did have a case on their website that I did ask for but it was out of stock so they couldn't send it to me but I requested it because I knew I would have a lot of markers and know where to put them and I'm not a massive fan of keeping them in these plastic boxes. They're handy but they're not like ideal because they're still a bit like flimsy and not great and obviously this one just it's not gonna work anymore it's bust so i'm gonna have to find some different storage for those ones but yeah so that is what they sent me that is everything that i got in this little haul from what i've gathered from using these the acrylic and chalk markers are more similar than the oil ones the way that they feel when you use them on paper just the way the ink comes out of the pen they are just more similar the oil markers on the other hand are very different to use like they just feel different when you're using them i have done a bit of doodling nothing too fancy because i was just kind of getting my bearings on how they felt to write with and doodle with this little swatch is all of the chalk markers so these are all the colors that you get in the pack of 42 and then these are the colors of the acrylic markers and the oil markers you can see at first glance that the chalk markers are a little more I don't want to say dull because there's still like bright colours in there but in comparison to the vibrancy of the acrylic and the oils they're just not quite so vibrant. I did some doodling with them, I layered things up, I tried to just have a little bit of a play around with all the different ones that I've been sent. Past me was a little bit overwhelmed with the differences between the markers. I'd always found that people used acrylic markers and they raved about the acrylic markers, but then I knew that there was chalk markers, which kind of was similar, but I didn't quite know the differences between them. Acrylic markers always seemed to be a bit more expensive than chalk markers, and I wasn't quite sure why if they did the same thing. So after having a play around with them and having a bit of a research, the main differences that are taser lists on their website and on the product description is that the chalk markers are odour free so these ones aren't stinky pens <laughs> the acrylic ones are low odour so they smell a little bit but they're not too up your nose and then the oil ones I found definitely have a smell like a marker pen sort of smell it does say on the packaging that the chalk markers are ideal for non-porous surfaces so paper for example is a porous surface it has like small holes that things could get through whereas for example, a ceramic, like a glazed ceramic or something, that's not porous. They're saying that, you know, these are kind of like wipe offable, but they do work on paper. You can use them on paper. So they're chalk markers that people use on chalkboards, but it does depend on the type of chalkboard and the type of surface that you're using. These labels that they've included are more of a 
non-porous chalkboard they almost look plasticky whereas your general sort of chalkboard material maybe they won't wipe off quite as easy but in terms of like permanent wise these are probably the least permanent one of the main things that they point out in the packaging for the acrylic markers is that they are quick drying i think all of them really were quite quick drying in comparison to using actual acrylic paint markers definitely dry quicker i have realized that so that is definitely helpful for the type of art and stuff that i do i'm layering things quite a lot i am waiting for things to dry all of the time i have a little like heat gun to try and speed things up when i'm using paint um but yeah these are much more quick drying. You can get these two in a bigger set. They just didn't have those in stock, so they sent me the smaller ones. They don't have a pack of 20 chalk markers. They do have a pack of 16. I don't know why. <laughs> um, it seems like the chalk markers are the cheapest. Then it's the oil markers. Then it's the acrylic markers. So for this pack of 20 acrylic markers, it's 32 99 The oil markers for a pack of 20 is 19 99 And then the pack of 42 chalk markers is 38 99 So you can kind of see where the prices differ. The main thing that stood out for me when I was swatching these pens is that the chalk markers and the acrylic markers, like I said, they had like fibers come up from the page. And as I said before, it could be to do with the paper. This is a mixed media paper, but you can see on this one, there's like little bits of fibery bits of paper that I can pull off. The acrylic and the chalk ones had that, but the oil markers didn't have that at all. Um, they actually worked really well with this paper. They did bleed through a little bit more. You can see them kind of shadowing on the back there. Um, whereas the acrylic and the chalk markers barely shadowed at all. But again, that's partly to do with the paper as well. So I'm not going to say that they don't bleed through or shadow through all papers. Just this paper that I've used, they don't. For that reason, I did find the oil markers a bit more enjoyable to use on this paper because I didn't have to like worry about scrubbing up the paper too much. So these little doodles were a mix of the chalk markers and the acrylic markers. I did like that you could go over, like the dark colours can go over the light colours and the light colours can go over the dark colours quite well and it shows up still. So in terms of layering colours it's going to be quite fun. This was meant to be a lemon and I kind of just gave up on that halfway through. <laughs> These ones were done with the acrylic markers. Don't think the chalk ones would show up quite so intensely. I'm still gonna have a play around with these. Like I said, I've had these like a week or two now. I've just been messing around with them at the weekend. But yeah, as time goes on, I will figure out different things. And obviously I'll share anything that I experiment with if I do do anything. I did this with the chalk markers. I wanted to play around with just the chalk markers just to see how they work together. These sort of markers aren't quite so smooth. They don't have quite as much of a smooth finish as, for example, the Everblend markers that I was sent in the past. They just don't, they don't blend so well. You can see the kind of like pen marks in the background here. But overall, they did work very similar to the acrylic markers. I didn't see many differences between the two. I just had obviously more colours to play around with with these than I did with the acrylic markers. These were done with the acrylic markers. Again, there's like little there's like little bits of the paper scuffed up on some of the stars. The oil markers, it does say, are suitable for all surfaces. So that includes paper, glass, metal, wood, plastic, vinyl, rubber, stone, concrete, leather, canvas, fabric, and more. Um, so in other words, don't get these pens on anything you don't want it on, because <laughs> it will stay. <laughs> so I had a doodle with them in my little sketchbook. I found that these didn't work quite as nicely layered. This part of the doodle I've just drawn like one layer of each pen on the paper but the envelope I have layered the red onto the green and it kind of finishes in a shiny effect whereas these are all matte so it does have a bit of inconsistency but they were really satisfying to use because they didn't scuff the paper at all. I don't think I really have a favourite. I think I'll probably use the acrylic ones in my art more than any of the other ones but I obviously have more colours in the chalk ones so... I don't know, there might be days where I end up using these. I think I will end up using the black pens the most because I love a bit of bold, boldness or lines on my artwork. This is some of the artwork I've been working on for March for my Patreon. It's all a bit all over the place. These are just like the first initial doodles or like paintings that I do and then I mess around with them on my computer and choose ones that I like. But yeah, I used the acrylic ones down here to add a bit of like mark making. So ignore my scribbles. This is what I have to do with the fine liners that I use over my paint because it kind of just blocks the fine liner pen up a bit. So I have to scribble it to get it working again. But for the thicker lines, it's handy having 
these markers now. These dots and lines were done with the acrylic marker. It worked perfectly. It turned out exactly how I wanted. And obviously because it's acrylic paint, it's gonna work over the top of the dried watercolor really well. I did try out the chalk markers in a similar way over some watercolors that I'm not gonna use. This was just me having to play around with butterfly wings <laughs> with the watercolor. But if you're gonna compare these two, you can see that they have worked pretty much the same. Like they've turned out the same. This is the chalk one, this is the acrylic one. The only very slight difference that I can say is that this is not as dark as this. So this is like black, black, whereas this is kind of a bit faded. It's still very black, you can see it's black, which kind of goes along with the swatches I did at the beginning, um, where these ones just looked a bit more dull than these ones. Um, so you can see the two blacks there from the oil and the acrylic versus the black of the chalk markers. It's just a very slight difference. I'd say if you are debating using these at all and you're not sure which ones to go for and you don't want to spend the money on the acrylic ones, try out the chalk markers because they work very similarly to the acrylic ones. I am looking forward to using these in my art because they're just so much more convenient than getting paints out, especially the acrylic ones. I do eventually want to get the larger set of the acrylic ones when they're back in stock but for now i have the chalk ones which work very similar i do have a discount code that you guys can use for any of these so you can get 10 percent off if you use the code migraincow5 and that is valid until the 21st of march so yeah if you want to try them out you can get a little discount i will have my affiliate links down below if you do use my links then i will get a little something back as well at no expense to you if you do have any questions then let me know i know i've not used them in this video i kind of just wanted to have a chat about them <laughs> rather than just sitting down and doing like a process video of me creating with them like i said i think i'm more likely to use them in with other mediums i enjoy doing mixed media art so i don't tend to use just like one medium when i'm doing <laughs> stuff i tend to just dip into different things, use different stuff, add textures. I'll have all the information in the description, so make sure you check there for the discount code, the links, all of that stuff. I think the discount code does work on any of the items as well, not just the markers, so if you want to get any arty supplies, then you can use my code to do that and get 10% off. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, if you're a patron on any of the tiers, then your name will be on the screen now. I will be getting the 50 patron extra content up very very soon so i'm excited for that but yeah i'm gonna go now and i will see you in my next video